one of the other videos we showed you how to add eyes onto a pumpkin. And we've improved that by adding in a PIR sensor. Which is in the nose and mouth, if you can see it in there. Um, we got this PIR sensor from a review we did on a Raspberry Pi Pika starter kit. But if this is outside and someone walks past the street, so either walk across. It sensed movement and the eyes are turned on. Should we try that in the dark? Yeah, so turn the lights off. Okay, walk past. These PIR motion sensors you can pick up pretty cheap, about 30 pence on AliExpress, £2.40 on an offer on Pimeroni, and on Amazon, £2.35. Adafruit have got this mini one for one ninety five. That looks really interesting. You may notice on the sensor these two orange things. And this one here is the timer. We've got ours all the way anti-clockwise. And this one here is the sensitivity so you can play around with that we've also got ours all the way anti-clockwise this jumper was originally here but we moved it there very frustrating if you don't do that there's an l and an h you want it closer to the h this circuit is the same circuit we use in the video where we show you how to work and make these pumpkin eyes. If you did watch that video, you'll know that the code and this circuit supports both types of the most popular versions of these um, matrix displays. Um, we've just made a few alterations to the circuit. First off, we've just connected up our sensor. Um, the outside pin, ground pin, is just connected to this um, ground rail on the side and everything in the circuit shares the same ground. The opposite pin, the VCC pin is just connected to its own power rail, connected right there, and I'll tell you why in a sec. And this middle pin, you can just connect to any GPIO pin on your microcontroller. We chose GPIO pin 16. Finally, we powered our circuit originally off two AA batteries, which is just connected to the positive rail there and the negative rail there. These two AA batteries power our matrix displays. Originally, we wanted them to power both our matrix, matrix displays and the sensor. However, our results weren't as flawless. Um, the lights were turning on when they shouldn't turn on. Maybe there was a ghost in the room and it was detecting that. Since it is Halloween, but ghosts aren't real, so probably not. So we decided that maybe it needed its own power source, so we just connected this battery pack with three AA batteries. Negative is to the negative rail that everything shares. Then we connected the positive side to its own positive rail of which we connected the positive of our sensor. This code is on GitHub, but I'm gonna quickly run you through it. So here we're just setting the sensor pin. Um, here we're just setting the eyes to be blank. You can set this to whatever you want. And then here we're just sleeping a second because it seems to improve the performance of the sensor. And here, this is what you do when the sensor has sent somebody there. So um, we're just growing the eyes and rolling them, but you can do whatever you want here. Here, this is what you're doing when nobody's there. So you can change that to whatever you want as well. And this code has been hacked together in a couple of minutes. So just ignore all this junk. So there you have it. The code really didn't take long to um, edit, it only took a few minutes, but the things that took us a while, first off, we couldn't, we didn't know that this came off. Um, so it took us a while to figure out which pin was ground and which pin was power, um, which was a bit stupid of us. Also, the jumper took us a while to figure out and that was quite irritating. And also we didn't listen to Caleb in the first place when he said that the circuit it may need more power. So after a while, we ended up listening to him and it did work. Um, as we said in our other video where we did make the pumpkin eyes, we said we might need to make a new head. Um, it smells so bad. We really do need to make another head. Um, but we did it for you guys. Oh God, that smells so bad. Um, so we've got this big guy and we're gonna get carving after this, make a new head. Yeah. Anyways, happy Halloween and have a nice day. Bye. Bye.